orogenic mesozonal gold deposits. Definition Epigenetic, structurally hosted lord gold deposits in metamorphic rocks that form predominantly at depths between 5 and 12 kilometers and temperatures of 300 to 425 degrees centigrade called mesozonal. However, there are some orogenic lord gold deposits that formed at higher temperatures greater than 425 degrees centigrade and at depths more than 12 kilometers. These deposits are referred to as hypozonal. The majority of mesozonal lord gold deposits are archaean in age and hosted in greenstone belts by metamorphosed and deformed rock sequences. Deposits are therefore structurally controlled and consist dominantly of veins, but disseminated ores do occur. The vein deposits consist of simple to complex networks of gold bearing laminated quartz carbonate fault fell veins in moderately to steeply dipping, compressional, brittle to ductile shear zones and faults. There are locally associated extensional winds and hydrothermal breakshears. The ores are dominantly hosted by mafic, metamorphic rocks of green schist to lower impervolite grade. The relative timing of the mineralization is synlate deformation and a typically post peak green schist or synpeak impervolite fishes metamorphism. Some orogenic lord gold deposits are related to intrusions that formed late in the orogenic history of the greenstone bell, typically post deformational. The gold is hosted by quartz carbonate winds that cut the intrusion. Gold may also be disseminated in the adjacent country rocks. Grade and tonnage. There are about 100 world-class mesozonal gold deposits, greater than 2.5 million ounces or 70 tons of gold. Some of the better known deposits are the Golden Mile in Australia, the Dome, Hollinger, Campbell Red Lake and the Crickland Lake in Canada, and a home stack in the United States. The Superior Province contains the most mesozonal deposits followed by the Ilkran Craton in Australia. The concentration of these deposits in Archean rocks is uh, thought to be due to continental growth and a large number of collisions between continental fragments or arc complexes. The associated development of major faults and a large-scale fluid flow along these structures. Distribution. Mesozonal gold deposits have a direct association with Precambrian shield areas of the world. More than 50% of the entire Precambrian gold production and the reserves is concentrated in late Archean greenstone, belts of the superior and Ilgran cretans. The best future potential is in Africa which is a very large, exposed, and a relatively unexplored Archean Craton. China also has numerous Archean terrains, but these are mostly at high metamorphic grades, so gold potential is uncertain. Most of the Archean deposits occur in green schist fishes, rocks, and are at the green schist impervolite transition. As well, most of the known deposits formed during two distinct time intervals, that is, number one, 2.8 to 2.6 billion years, and number two, 2.1 to 1.8 billion years. The prevalence for these two time periods is believed to be due to continental and or island art collisions along with the breakup of the first supercontinent younger deposits 650 to 50 million years are due to the breakup of rudania and active collagenal events on the margins of gondwana and laurasia 
the oldest known mesozoic gold deposits occur number one and the barberton land greenstone belt in africa and number two in the pilbara crater in australia ore minerals the ore minerals are native gold typically micron size gold telluroids and in native silver with gold to silver ratios of 5 to 10 to 1. Typical minerals are native gold, native silver, electrum, arsenopyrite, pyrite, pyrotite, tourmaline, molybdenite, scheelite. Base metal contents are generally low. Gong and uh, or alteration minerals in the deposits are dominantly quartz and carbonate. Anchorite, siderite, calcite, and dolomite, with varying amounts of sericite, muscovite, chlorite, biotite, phosite, talc, tourmaline, magnetite, and hematite. Mineral assemblages depend on the composition of the host rocks and a metamorphic grade. The gold is commonly associated with either number one, pyrite and or pyrotite. Number two, quartz carbonate veins. More rarely, it occurs as disseminations in alteration hollows surrounding by barren to low grade gold quartz and carbonate veins. Veins often occur as stockworks and quartz carbonate with or without gold can be cemented in hydrothermal break shells. Host rocks. Most orogenic, mesozonal, and hypozonal gold deposits occur in greenstone belts as winds in disseminations and can be hosted by a wide variety of rock types. Host rocks can include mafic to ultramafic lava flows, felsic volcanic rocks, iron rich gabbroic seals and dikes, granitic intrusions, iron formations, and a clastic sedimentary rocks. Numerous deposits are hosted by more than one lithology. Structural environment. Virtually all of the mesozoic gold deposits are linked to large-scale fault zones, though the ores themselves are not directly hosted by these structures. They tend to be parallel or subparallel to the volcanic sedimentary stratigraphy in the greenstone belts and to accreted terrain margins and phanerozoic stings where they mark collision zones. The faults are near vertical and are believed to represent major crystal dewatering features. Stratigraphic rotation and uh, truncation are prominent features at the regional scale and the faults bearing may be created along the plane of the shear. Fluid migration accompanies shearing, so there is most likely hydrothermal water along the entire deformation zone. However, to form a gold deposit, what is needed is focused upflow, and uh, such focused regimes are associated with specific structures within the major shear zone. Within the major shear lithology differences allow the development of numerous flexures. Ore zones are typically road-like or tabular, with the maximum dimensions being parallel to the shear plane. The deposits are composed of either number one, large quartz carbonate veins with gold and associated breccia zones, number two, stock works of gold and quartz carbonate, number three, disseminated in sulfide-rich rocks with or without quartz carbonate winning. Structural environment. The shape and the style of the gold bearing zones, as well as the morphology of the dilation zones, is dependent on the following variables. Number one, strength rate. Number two, fluid pressure. Number three, temperature plus lithostatic pressure. Number four, whole stroke lithology. Alteration. All mesozoic gold deposits are accompanied by intense and extensive wall rock alteration. The most common types of alteration are number one, silicification, 
Number two, carbonatization. Number three, potash enrichment. Number four, sulfidation. Minor elements. Arsenic as arsenopyrite can be directly associated with the ore. In some deposits, as the percentage of arsenopyrite increases, so does the gold grade. Stibnite, tourmaline, molybdenite, and scheelite are anomalous close to many gold deposits. However, this enrichment is irregular and not always present. These particular minerals are most commonly found where the host rocks are quartz rich, calcic intrusions, and volcanics. Chromium, vanadium, and barium green micas are associated with a number of deposits, especially those hosted by ultramafic rocks. Barium occurs as barite and is enriched only at hemlock. Metamorphic grade and orogenic gold deposits. The special association of mesozoic gold deposits with green schist grade rocks within greenstone belts has been well known for decades. Deposit types number one quartz carbonate gold veins with the host rocks ranging from basalt and cometite to quartz feldspar porphyries. Lesser Grevec and a Cellstone Green Schist Grade, Regional Carbonatization. Examples are Dome, Kerr, Edison, and uh, Hollinger. Number two, Intrusion Hosted Quartz Carbonate Tourmaline Veins in Granite Rocks, or controlled by fractures and faults in competent units, Kirkland Lake. Number three, Iron formation hosted quartz pyrite arsenopyrite gold. The BIF is highly folded and transposed or typically in fold hinges. Examples are Homestag, Miss White, Lupin, Bear Dome. Number four, disseminated gold in wild rocks, tablet or bodies, and for blight grid, for example, is hemlock. Or floats. Based on fluid inclusions in the ore and alteration minerals, the ore forming floats are believed to be rich in carbon dioxide and have an ACL contents of 3 to 12 percent. This low salinity may be why there are so few base metals with these deposits. Genesis. The gall is deposited in structurally prepared sites from hydrothermal fluids raising along the shear system. There is no consensus as to the source of the gall. The hydrothermal fluids are dominantly metamorphic, though they could have a magmatic component to them. Fluids are believed to be derived from dewatering at the green schist and provide grade boundary on blend to peroxane etc. The fluids then rise along the shear structures. As pressures and temperatures decrease, so does gold solubility and precipitation occurs in the latent structures. Relationships to magmas is not certain, though intrusive rocks ranging from lamprophories to Porphyritic introgens are common in the vicinity of the deposits and do host some deposits. The magmas are late tectonic, often coeval with gold formation produced from melting deep on the crust and therefore have high variability in composition. Thus, gold and the melt seem to be controlled by the same deep crustal thermos events thank you please subscribe like and share my videos